Good morning reception, it's time for phonics and today's phonics lesson is a little bit different to normal because um, I'm just going to tell you where we're up to in phonics and what we're going to do next. Okay, so we've just finished revisiting phase three. So we now know um, all of those phase three tricky words and all of those phase three sounds. We can read sentences with those sounds and words in and we can write sentences with those sounds and words in. So a big well done to you. So moving on from phase three, can anyone guess what phase is going to be next? That's right, it's going to be phase four. Great maths, see? Just geniuses, aren't you? So I thought it would be helpful to give you a little video to tell you what you're going to do in phase four because it's quite different to the other phases because there's no new sounds to learn in this phase. So there's three main parts to this phase. The first one is to learn to read and write 14 new tricky words, okay? And they're getting a little bit trickier. They're a bit longer and they make even less sense than the tricky words in phase two and three. And the next part is to blend adjacent consonants. Didn't that sound posh? And then and the other step is to segment adjacent consonants. Now I know you know what blending means. That's when we push the sounds together to read. So we go cat, cat. And I know you know what segmenting means. So that's if I say cat, can you say cat? Of course you can. Easy. But do you know what adjacent consonants are? Uh, I used to, but I think I've forgotten. I just wish I had a friend that could help me explain what adjacent consonants are because I just don't know what they are. Who could I ring? Who do I know that's really wise? <gasps> Mrs. Lawson. Should we see if we can shout Mrs. Lawson? Are you ready? After three, I want you to shout really loud, Mrs. Lawson, Mrs. Sanderson needs you. Are you ready? After three, one, two, three. Mrs. Lawson, Mrs. Sanderson needs you. I had to whisper because my children are in bed and I do not under any circumstances want them to wake up. Okay, we have spent a lot of time together recently. Thanks. Okay, here she is. Oh, Mrs. Sanderson. Oh my goodness me, she's always asking me, isn't she? Adjacent consonants are two letters, two consonants that are next to each other. They are like next door neighbours. <laughs> Great. Great, that's what it is. Two consonants that are next to each other. Fabulous. <laughs> I knew I knew it somewhere. Two next door neighbour consonants. Great, yeah, absolutely got that. Totally understand what she means. Apart from I've forgotten what a consonant is. Do you know? I don't know. Shall we ask Mrs. Lawson again? After three, we'll say, Mrs. Lawson, Mrs. Sanderson needs you. Are you ready? One, two, three. Mrs. Lawson, Mrs. Sanderson needs you. A consonant, let me tell you, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. Five of them are vowels and the rest are consonants. Oh, it's so good to have her help, isn't it? And so nice to see a little face. Um, yes, so a cons all, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. 21 of them, most of them, are consonants, apart from five, which are vowels. I, I know what you're thinking. I wish I had a little song to help me remember which sounds the vowels are. Well, you do. A E I O U, A E I O U, A E I O U. Those are the vowel names. I can see Mrs. Sanderson laughing in the background. Oh my goodness me, what's she like, honestly? <laughs> so, A E I O U, five vowels. If you could walk around singing that all day, that would be great because then you'll remember, and also it might drive your parents a little bit crazy. But finally, your parents might understand what a vowel is. Okay, so it's easy. If it's not A E I O U, A E I O U, then it must be a consonant. We'll do more about this tomorrow, but I want to see if you can hold that little phrase in your head 
adjacent consonants. So adjacent means next to each other. Mrs. Sanderson is adjacent to this adorable little baby. Oh, hello. Aww. So it's a fancy way of saying next to. Okay, so adjacent consonants are just two consonants next to each other. And what's tricky about that is it's really hard to separate those two, to hear those two sounds. They're so squashed together that it's really hard to separate them, especially for segmenting. And also it's hard to blend them when we're reading. Okay, all I need you to do today is hear that phrase, adjacent consonants, and have a go at learning which sounds are the vowel sounds. A-E-I-O-U. A, E, I, O. I hope you have a lovely day. I'll see you tomorrow. Be good. Bye.